Good evening, everyone. We begin combining two major events in the area. Today's storms hitting the EAA grounds and doing some damage at AirVenture. Yeah, the wind picked up one plane and would put it right on top of another, causing thousands of dollars worth of damage. Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo spoke with one of the aircraft's owners about that damage and the lessons learned from the storm. David Thompson's three-quarter P-51 Mustang is very important to him. I've uh, always wanted a P-51 Mustang since I've been three years old, and I finally got the opportunity to build one. But Thursday afternoon's heavy wind and rain did some damage to Thompson's dream plane. The aircraft that was tied down next to me had flipped upside down on the top of my aircraft. EAA officials say there were a few reports of damage like this. You have a very secure ropes holding on there. There were no reports of serious injuries, though, even though campers like Sean Scott had a rough time in the rain. I was in a tent holding the tent up from collapsing like... That one right there. <laughs> Dick Nipinski with EAA says protecting people and property from the weather are two top concerns. We are watching the weather constantly, and you probably have no more weather aware group than pilots. The National Weather Service is here. Pilots are required to securely tie down planes, and visitors are given weather warnings and step by step directions on how to stay safe. They receive the instructions in case there is severe weather, everything from Finding a secure shelter to if you have to ride it out in your camper or your vehicle, what to do in those type of cases. As for Thompson, he estimates about $5,000 of damage to his plane, but he says he will definitely pay to fix it. I love it very, very much. The plane that hit Thompson was tied down. It's unclear how secure that was, however, and Thompson says he's learned a lesson from this for next year. I will look at all the other aircraft in the vicinity to make sure I'm secure with their tie downs. In Oshkosh, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News.